Hello, I'm Hamish, and this is my radio drama Leroy and Hoisting the Magical Duck. Okay, Leroy is your average five year old. He loves playing in the park, eating sweets, and playing Xbox, but he's the head chef in a Chinese restaurant. Um, his best friend Hoi Sin, who's a magical duck who can fly and talk, and they have a restaurant called Sweet and Sour Leroy's. Um, and it's the most popular restaurant in Maidenhead. Business is booming, and in this series, Hoi Sin and Leroy decide they've earned themselves a holiday. And the opening of the radio drama of every episode will be um, the dad of a child reading the book Leroy and Hoist in the Magical Duck to his child. Um, this will set the scene um, from the opening line um, and then there will be a sound effect and it will go into the story so the characters will then come to life. So the episode I'm going to do it will open with lots of sounds uh, being heard from the kitchen of a busy Chinese restaurant to set the scene, such as pans clanging, people shouting, out orders. Leroy will be busy in the kitchen and um, he will turn to Hoi Sin and say, Hoi Sin, I think that was our last customer, let's shut sweet and sour Leroy's. And Hoi Sin will reply, would you like me to fly you home Leroy, which they do after every shift. Um, then they fly off and Leroy says, you know what? You know what, Hoisin, it's gone on an adventure. And that's where the series begins. Now, this is one of the two main characters called Leroy. Um, he's five years old and he's the head chef of a popular restaurant in Maidenhead. Um, he's very small but very imaginative. And he's bright and intelligent and it often makes people forget that he is only five years old. However, he does have traits and mannerisms that um, a five-year-old would have, uh, such as his dialect. Um, so, you still do uh, hear through the radio that he is a five-year-old. Um, he always wears his chef uniform as well, um, although you won't be able to see it on the radio drama, but um, through what happens, so he, he will use his chef hat in certain situations and people always know that he's a chef, even though he's five, so when he meets new people, they'll go, oh, are you a chef? And he lives in a flat with his best friend, Poison. Leroy doesn't know his parents because when he was born, um, he was born in the toilet, and his mum accidentally flushed. <laughs> And then he um, ended up in a lake where he met Hoisin. <laughs> Leroy and Hoisin have been best buddies since the day Leroy was born. This is Hoisin. Um, he's a magical duck who can fly and talk. He's larger than a normal duck, as you saw on the opening slide. Um, He's a little bit bigger than a five-year-old, so he's about that big. Um, he's 27. Um, he, <laughs> he isn't as smart as Leroy, though, because he's a duck. Um, but he's more, like, athletic <laughs> and strong. And this makes Leroy and Hoi Sin the perfect team. Because Leroy is the brains <laughs> and Hoi Sin is the muscle. Uh, Hoi Sin used to live with other normal ducks in the pond and Hoi Sin was different to other ducks because he's the only magic duck. <laughs> and he didn't know any other magical ducks. So when Leroy came along, he was obviously a different character because he was a five-year-old chef. Um, he was searching for something more than the pond and knew he was destined for something wonderful and truly great. So when he met Leroy, they instantly just clicked and Poison decided to leave the pond after that 
and start an adventure with Leroy. So um, the target audience for this radio drama is children from school ages, ranging from about 4 to 13. Uh, the radio drama is child orientated because it's weird and the humour is uh, like of a child or a young adult. Um, it will not really appeal to adults because the storyline is very wacky and imaginative, uh, so a child will find it amusing uh, from the creativeness. I have um, made it a very weird storyline, so the 4 to 13s will enjoy it uh, and they'll be able to relate to it from their uh, active imagination. So the storyline will make the listeners picture and imagine in detail uh, the things happening in the story from the very descriptive uh, narration of the dad reading the book and of what the characters are saying when they come to life. So that's why it would best suit the target audience. And, um, I'm the ideal person to do this radio drama because I came up with the characters and I've thought about their personalities and how a story can best fit them to make an interesting radio drama. Um, and I also regularly watch cartoons for children because I still enjoy them and I can relate to the target audience because of this. Um, so this is an example of a um, weird TV show which is very similar to what I will be creating. This is Adventure Time. This is very similar because the two main characters are a human and an animal, which is where I've kind of got inspiration from. So this is Jake the dog, and he's also magic. And then the other main character is Finn, he's a human. Yo, TV, get me a chocolate bar. Okay. So that is a um, similar TV program, but um, you should invest in this product because uh, it will benefit children and entertain them hugely because it will develop their imagination um, and expand their mind because um, you have to imagine it because you can't see it because it's on the radio. Um, as there is holding the market for this so it should be quite successful and become popular because there's nothing out there like it um, so there are weird and wacky TV programs like I just showed but there's no radio ones and um, this radio drama uh, is a series so there will be lots of episodes and it will revolve around the two main characters um, and each episode will follow them on an adventure, a different adventure to where they go um, and as I said it will start off with dad reading it and then it will go into um, the story and the characters will come to life so every episode will have the same structure at the beginning um, and it's linear because there are no flashbacks and it doesn't go back in time, it just goes from reality into a story. And the radio drama will be aired weekly at evenings at 7pm because this is when uh, young children, which is the target audience, will be good, like most likely to be like going to bed, so it's kind of like a bedtime story for them. And that also means that people are more likely to tune into the, the radio. 
if it's on at the time that best fits them. And the actors for this will be, for Leroy, will be voiced by me, Hamish Campbell, because I created the character Leroy and I know exactly how I want him to be portrayed and I've done drama and acting in the past before so I have experience of uh, voice acting and Hoi Sin will be voiced by Jack Stillman because um, I know and trust Jack I know he's reliable we show up time on recordings and rehearsals and also he's good at speaking and has a good voice for the character because Hoi Sin uh, the character is 27 and his voice uh, sounds very grown up so he'll be an ideal candidate for that and the other minor characters which don't really play uh, much role in the radio drama will be voiced by me also um, this is the budget so if you like to have a look at that. Um, so the actors to hire would cost about £300. Um, the studio will be £21 in total and the sound downloads will be £5 in total. So if you add that up, that it will cost £326. So thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? <coughs> Yeah. Okay. In the opening 30 seconds, how are you going to set the scene by using sounds and oral signposting? How are you going to create a scene? What, from when the characters come to life? Yeah, from the start of the radio drama, so how are we going to know where it's actually taking place and what's happening? Okay, well, when the dad starts um, reading the story to his child, um, how the two characters, the dad and the child, uh, speak to each other, the dad will be like, okay, come and get into bed now, so you know that he's in his bedroom, and he goes, okay dad, so you know the relationship between them, and the scene set of um, the child in a bed with his dad reading the book, and then um, there will be a mysterious um, sound, which will uh, portray something going into something that's not reality, and then you will hear um, sounds of a Chinese restaurant, which you would hear. So, clanging of plates and uh, background voices uh, shouting out orders um, of Chinese food, such as um, hoisin duck wraps. And there will be um, hoisin and Leroy talking to each other, so we know that it's gone into their world and they've come alive. So all those sounds will help to create that atmosphere. Okay. Do you think there are any other radio dramas that are like yours with regard to the plot? No. no. Mine's the only one. So how do you think you'll keep the listener interested during the, the whole drama? Well, they won't be very long, so they'll be about 15 minutes each episode. Um, and within that, it will go from, so it's already changing um, from reality into um, their world and then when they're in there, in, when it's in the character's world, um, they will go on adventures so they'll constantly be, um, for the storyline, meeting other uh, obstacles and things on the way, so uh, big events will be happening and just uh, weird, crazy things will be happening to keep the listeners engaged. Okay. And you say it's a series. Yeah. How many episodes do you intend on having for it? Well, I'd like to do a few seasons, and each season will have ten episodes in. So I aim to do, I aim to keep doing seasons, carry on making it as long as people listen. But I start off doing ten, and if it's popular, then ten episodes every season. Okay. Okay.